Social media is a multi-billion dollar industry. It seems like just about anyone can cash in these days. In fact, some of Facebook and Instagram's most followed aren't even human. Dean the Basset Hound just turned two, but he already has more than 100,000 Instagram fans. And Dean has his owners have been getting a lot of attention from advertisers, hoping to harness his star power. Joining us now is Carly Bright and her dog, Dean. How is he adjusting to being in the studio there, Carly? Oh, he's good. Yeah, he's adjusting. Lots of treats. So tell us the story, how you got, I mean, you didn't set out to make him an Instagram star. How did this all happen? No, absolutely not. We just got a dog, my partner and I, and uh, we thought he was so cute. So we were taking lots of photos of him and just thought the Instagram account was a great outlet to put all those on. And, and then, then yes, like, go on. Um, slowly we got more followers and I got more interested in it and uh, got more into photography and it just grew from there. And what do you think it is that is encouraging so many people to follow him? I mean, I know you put fun little captions underneath his pictures and so forth. And look at him. I mean, he's pretty <laughs> adorable. But I mean, 100,000 followers, that's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. We're all really surprised by it. I think what people love about him is that he, we really try and showcase his personality. You know, he's kind of grumpy, loves naps, <laughs> he loves pizza, and lots of people can relate to that. They often call him their spirit animal. Oh, wow. So now tell us more about these advertisers who have been approaching you. I understand you've turned down quite a few. Tell us about what you've turned down. Yeah, brands reach out to us um, a few times a week. Uh, they usually want to send us their product and for an exchange of Dean taking a photo with the product. Um, but generally we turn it down. We found that when we do advertise on our account, it, the photos don't do as well and people don't really like to be advertised to. But it, when we do advertise, we try and do it in a really creative way and so it's not so invasive and it, and it really still encapsulates Dean. So would you say he's turned into a bit of a money maker? <sighs> Uh, absolutely, we've made we've made some money from it. Nothing that um, takes care of his dog walking and all the food. Some people tell me that he must pay for himself, but he doesn't quite yet. You're kidding! He's you're not even breaking even, even with <laughs> no, his celebrity. No, dogs are expensive. Oh my goodness! Now uh, I understand there are some dogs that are even bigger stars than Dean, like this one in San Francisco, the Pomeranian named Boo, uh, who apparently has 17 million followers on Facebook and like 600,000 on Instagram. Like, do you feel competitive with some of these other pets that are big on social media? I don't think we really feel competitive. We're just doing this because we have a good time doing it and we love spending time with Dean and, and he's our favorite subject. But. Uh, we really gather a lot of inspiration from other th the other um, popular accounts, but we don't feel um, competitive. Sorry. I'm hearing some crying there. Yes. I thought he loved the camera. <laughs> he does. <laughs> no, but I mean, let's talk about getting those pictures for a minute. Uh, uh, that must take some time, you know, sort of posing him. And I saw for Valentine's Day, you had him <laughs> with some roses and heart-shaped sunglasses and so forth. It, it's obviously it's taking some creativity here. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of treats are key, just constantly feeding him treats and, and wait till he's tired to take photos. We make sure we don't force him to do anything that doesn't feel natural for him. Yes, well, I was thinking about that. I mean, you don't really want to encourage people, you know, to suggest that they should be trying to turn their pet into an Instagram star and maybe putting the pet in some sort of uncomfortable situation in order to get a prank picture or something. For sure, yeah. We try not to dress Dean up too much or anything because he just doesn't really cooperate. But some dogs wear clothing and everything and it feels fine for them. But yeah, we try and just capture Dean out in his natural habitat, like out for walks or sleeping or trying to steal my pizza. Did I hear that you got a book offer? We didn't get a book offer, but maybe that's in the future. We, <laughs> um, we did do a, a 2016 calendar for him, which was great because we got to produce and um, design it and distribute it ourselves. And um, yeah, we sold over 500 copies and we actually sold out. I, we both have full-time jobs, so I couldn't keep up with the demand. Wow. All right. Well, keep having fun. Thank you so much for bringing him in. And we got to let him go before it gets any sadder. Yeah. <laughs> nice <laughs> to meet much. you, Carly. Nice to meet you.